Hey guys, what is up? This week has been absolutely crazy when it comes to AI video models. We got Kling 2.5, we got WAN 2.5, and that was literally just the day after I posted this WAN 2.2 animate feature, which is absolutely mind blowing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the best demos. I'm gonna use the playgrounds to create my own content. And I'm gonna teach you how to link these up to N8N to use them in an automated fashion. First, let's start with Kling 2.5. I'm on the FAL page. I'll link that in the description. And here you can see the demo video. So this is the prompt right here, if you want to read it really quickly. And then we're gonna go in over here and full screen this. And as you can see, the quality is just so stunning. And compared to stuff we've seen just a couple months ago, I think a lot of people would believe that this is actual footage or like an actual reenactment of the scenario on the screen right there. But I think what will do it the best justice is the 2.5 Kling update video. This goes into great detail. I'm gonna play a little bit of it and show you how cool the results really are. Unknown update has been deployed. So far, what I'm seeing here is the prompt adherence is supposed to be better. There's supposed to be a better like physics engines kind of, or you know, physics in the actual videos themselves. And then three is like those cartoon and anime style clips just look absolutely amazing in my opinion. I'm just gonna play a little bit more of this. So it looks really cool, but I am a little bit doubtful that it will be able to do lip syncs and stuff like that. So we'll be testing it out. All right, so now we're on the page. You can do either text to video or you can do image to video. So we're gonna switch over to that image to video. We're gonna need an image. So basically what I did is I gave it this photo I have of me to Nano Banana. I said, man standing on the ledge of a skyscraper. I got this piece of content. I went over to Mid Journey, got rid of that watermark, upscaled it. And now I have the final image in which I'm going to be uploading right here. Okay, now I have the image uploaded here and I gave it this prompt. Man says hello world and then jumps off ledge as camera follows a man to earth. Now I'm gonna be running this and I'm very skeptical that it's gonna get it right. I think having the dialogue is gonna be a little bit tricky. And then in the past, the physics for a, a prompt like this just never worked well, even with VO3. So this is definitely gonna be a tough one and we'll see how well it does. I just submitted it and it's gonna be costing me 35 cents. Okay, so now we got the result and I'm gonna be playing it in this little player here commentating and then I'll play it in full screen. As you can see, it ignored the man says hello world and stuff like that. And while it might not look the most impressive, honestly, this is a world's better than the other models. Like the jumping physics was just not really good in the previous models. So I think it did a relatively good job with this. And then I think the version that I rendered on Kling's website right here, which I'll also be playing um, and linking below, which has native audio here. This one, I think the city that it zooms into is even more realistic. And now that we did that demo, there's plenty of other things you could go try on the website. I'm now going to show you how to connect Kling 2.5 to N8N if you want to automate the video creation. It's going to be a super simple demo, but before that, I just wanted to point out that my school community, we're currently working on the classroom. We have our video on marketing basics. We have image generation videos coming out on the daily. 
We're going to be going into video generation, audio generation, LLMs, NADN, portfolios and pricing, and everything you need to start an AI creative agency, and all the techniques that I use, like the Nano Banana Mid Journey Upscale into one of these video models to create amazing ads. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to have the link in the description. Plans start at $25 per month, and I will be going into further detail on all this stuff in my community. Now, when it comes to Kling, this is going to be pretty straightforward. You're going to go to the API section. You're going to go to the HTTP on this, uh, if it's not selected right here. And then you're going to scroll down to this to kind of see what you need. So we're going to be hitting this URL right here, which I'll also have in the description. And then all we really need to send it is the prompt. Um, and if we're doing the image model, it would be a little bit more complicated. And I'll go into that later. But here we have it. We have our NADN account right here. We have this HTTP node that I just created. Very simple. We're going to do a post request to that URL. And then here you're going to need to set up your credentials. So you're going to need your FAL credentials, um, which should look something like this with your API key below. Once you have that, you're going to need this for obviously all of your submissions. You're just going to do send body, body type JSON, using fields below. The first one is just going to be name, is going to be prompt, and then the value is going to be the prompt that you want. It's going to be as simple as that. And then what you're probably going to want here is some version of a wait because you're going to want to make sure that it completes. So I'd give it like two or three, maybe in four or five minutes. And then you're going to go to this HTTP request right here where unfortunately, let me actually get rid of that for a second. Um, but you're going to want to put the weight back in. You're, all you're going to do is take the output, which is going to be the response URL, drop that in here with a GET request with your credentials, and then boom, it's going to create the video right here. And then when we paste that in, you'll see you have this video output. Now, now this automation here is extremely basic, but it's just a proof of concept on how to use Kling 2.5 in your automations. If you want to go more into depth, I actually have a two hour course on this. And then if you want to support me and join the community, I talk about this stuff all the time in my school community. All right, and now we have WAN 2.5 preview, which is super cool. I know 2.2 is open source, meaning you could basically do whatever you want, anything explicit, anything with celebrities. There's no guardrails on that. For 2.5, I'm not really sure, and for the instance of the YouTube video, I'm not going to be doing that, but you could definitely look into it. Now, this is the demo video right here. It looks pretty cool. The prompt is right over there as well, and it's based on that image. And I'm seeing right here that you can actually have an audio URL, which means it might lip sync a voice. And to be honest, it's really hard to tell with all these models if it can or not. But I did some looking up online, and I think it is possible. And then here you have your resolution, your negative prompt, and all that. And now I'm going to go on Twitter, and I'm actually going to show you one more preview before I try my own stuff. So this is a bank robbery scene right here. And Twitter degrades the quality a little bit, but it looks just super cool in my opinion. Okay, this is actually pretty wild. I gave it a very simple prompt here. I gave it an image from Nano Banana of me. And then I actually recorded like six seconds of audio of me talking. And then I put it at the low resolution because I didn't even think it was going to work. But here is the result. So I'm going to play it. Hey guys, this is Adrian. And this is a test to see if the mouth movement. Hey. So what's really cool, and I cut off because I think I did the five seconds, even though I gave it a longer audio file. But it's just mind blowing. It actually works with lip syncing audio and doing prompt generation. So this is kind of like the ability of VO3 to have a character talking, but also being able to prompt it to do other stuff. So I think you're going to need, you know, a person with a, a head in the very front if you want it to actually lip sync correctly. And I haven't done a lot of testing, but this is honestly a really good model and it kind of blows Kling 2.5 out of the water, in my opinion, for usability and ads and stuff like that. So this is pretty cool. I'm actually going to try rendering it one more time with a um, longer audio and a higher resolution. And if that works, I'll go into NADN really quickly and show you how to do it there. Okay, I got it to load and this time I did it on 720. I tried it once at 1080 and for some reason that 
just came out very terribly. I'm going to play this now and you could judge for yourself. Hey guys, it's Adrian and I think VO3 might be cooked. This was created using WAN 2.5 and honestly it's very impressive. Honestly, I think maybe because it's closer up or the upscaling whatever, it's not like the most impressive now to me. But it is really cool that they have this feature. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do this on N8N. Okay, here we are. We're on the text to video model, which is the most simple one. And you'll note that the only difference in this entire thing is the URL. So you're just going to copy this URL here, go into here, change it from the cling one to the WAN one. You can keep the prompt and everything exactly the same. And then for the request in terms of getting it, after you add that um, four minute wait in between, you'll note that everything, because it's being ran through Fell, is going to output identically the same. So the only thing you're gonna have to do is change that URL in the template over there. And now I'm just gonna be quickly playing this video. Thank you, child. May your spring be as bright as these flowers. So the model is pretty good. And it does do voices, but the voices, I feel like the lip syncs are just like a little like, like not too much um, expression in them and stuff like that. So that's something we definitely need to look into. But ultimately, this video was really just supposed to be showing off the two models. So I'm going to do a lot more playing around with them and testing them out. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to check out my school link in the description. <clears throat> as well as my Twitter, x.com slash mentor, and I'll see you guys later.